In this video, we're going to be focusing on using action buttons. Now, action buttons work very similarly to hyperlinks, except that instead of using a link, you use a button. So simply put, in order to actually use these, if we go to the insert tab, and from here, if we select shapes, and if we scroll right to the bottom, and as you can see, we've got several different action buttons that we can choose from, and they probably look quite familiar to you. So if we was to select the home button just here, what we can do from here is we can actually click and drag and create a home button, as you can see here. And from here, we can actually choose where to hyperlink this button to. So if I was to click this drop down arrow here, and from here, if we select slide, we could actually link it to our agenda slide like so. So if we select OK, or now if we select OK, now our agenda slide is going to act as our home slide. So in other words, agenda will be our home. So from here, what I'm actually going to do is if I do a control X on the keyboard to cut that, and let's just paste it in slide one here. Right, so now our home button is in slide one. And from here, if we do an F5 to enter slideshow mode, and what we can do is if we click our button, it takes us to the agenda slide. Right, so if we press escape to exit this, now, what if we actually wanted to apply our home button to all of our slides? What could we do? Well, in this case, if we go back to our first slide and if we select the home button and if we do a control C, and now from here, if we go to view and if we select the slide master, and now if we make sure that we've got our top slide selected and if we do a control V, now, our home button will be applied to all subsequent slides. So from here, if we close the slide master, as you can see, we now have our home button on all of our slides. Now, if we select slide two, and if we do a shift F5, as you can see, again, we've got our home button. And from here, we've also got hyperlinks for each of the sections of our slides here. So for example, if I was to select history of hyperlinks, as you can see, that takes me to that slide. But if I was very far in a presentation and I want to go back to that agenda slide, now I could just click on this home icon like so, and it takes me right back there. So again, just to show you, if I was to click on conclusion and I went to go back to the agenda slide, I could just click that home icon and I'm back. So if I press escape now, what I can do from here, I can further edit this button. So now if we go back to our slide master, so if we select view, and now if we go to slide master, and now if we select that, make sure we've got our master slide, so from here, and now if we select that, and from here, if we go to format, in fact, and from here, we can actually edit the style of the home button like so if we want to and we could also edit the fill color and the outline and also add effects and what we could even do in fact we could change this into an entirely different shape so if we select edit shape and we select change shape this could be we could make this a star if we wanted to and now we could even change the color as well. And now if we go back to slide master and now if we close this, now our home button is a star. Ah, as this was the original, what I would have to do if I just delete this icon, as you can see, we've got our star beneath it. So now we have our home icon. And if we now go to slideshow mode, and from here, if we just click as usual, okay, great. So we're going through our presentation, but now we want to go back to agenda. So if I select the star icon, it takes us back to our agenda page. And that is an overview of using action buttons.